Good morning, folks. You got space weather alerts through the app last night. We've got space weather effects to go over this morning, plus the cold, Hubble, and the solar system. Let's get started at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star with the solar flaring continuing to decline, but with more spots possibly entering from the incoming limb on the left. The large coronal hole is still turning through, but its stream impacted solidly yesterday. As with all coronal hole streams, the density in orange has its peak as slow particles bunch up ahead of the faster stream like snow on the edge of a shovel blade, and then as it drops out the speed and plasma temperature in purple and green below begin to climb. They immediately triggered a low-level geomagnetic storm, which was brief at the global level. But when seeing that a 100 nanotesla deviation was coming overnight, we sent out the second alert for technology and upper-level jet stabilization. Once more, the transformer issues crop up during the geomagnetic event. But in fact, this time, the more frequent and major issues were seen in the network surges and at the smaller circuit level. Power outages went up fourfold in the U.S. over the last day, matching what you'd expect during thunderstorm and tornado season months from now. And the electrical fires went up fivefold, which is especially interesting because those take longer to get reported. And this is a brutal time for your power to be going out with the cold snap marching eastward. Reports claim between 9 and 11 have died from the cold, and that is expected to rise. There is not currently a number on how many cold records have fallen, but it's in the hundreds in the U.S. and Canada all due to an extra wavy upper jet system that included a major disruption to the polar vortex, as seen here by the AIRS mission. But as the app notice called for, we already are seeing a flattening of the upper jets and stabilization, less blocking, and a more rotating polar vortex than one split up and taking wild dives into lower latitudes. Event is ending at the top of the world. So let's turn around there and head out the other way, deep into the Hubble field, and I have to say, this one is impressive. A local galaxy was spotted with something hiding up its sleeve. Another galaxy. On the periphery of visibility due to the brightness of the group and obscured until now, Hubble has spotted a small galaxy that is within our local group and we never knew was there. We spot galaxies and other objects further away than we can comprehend. This is like finding a galaxy stuffed in your mailbox. Hello, little guy. On to the top story, and it comes from an observer. While many of you are currently embroiled in the Catastrophe Cycle series and the Micronova Examination, Part 15 of which is coming this weekend, we also have a number of other excellent series if you click Suspicious Observers anywhere on YouTube and scroll down to our playlists. One of them gets a big boost today with our top story as one of the 250 or so observers with major credentials, training, or a resume has confidently claimed that the magnetospheres of the planetary system help control the solar cycle and polar cycle on our Sun of 11 and 22 years. That's Jupiter, Saturn, Earth, Neptune, Uranus, and again, he's an observer. Paper linked for free below this video. You can click my name and scroll down to find the playlist. This one just got real. We greatly appreciate your support. For those coming to Observing the Frontier 2019, we are two weeks away, so make sure your travel and hotel plans are set. Website members, you got eight episodes of Deeper Look in January four fly-on-the-wall podcasts, and new lab footage from Billy. These memberships are what really support the observers more than anything else. We've got your wind maps, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.